In this video, I'm going to quickly show you how to use the Amazon Keyword Generator. It's pretty self-explanatory, but I'm going to quickly just show you uh, kind of what's going on behind the scenes and how it extracts the keywords from Amazon. Now, currently, this software just extracts keywords from Amazon.com. And uh, basically, that's the one that has the most importance when it comes to keywords because that's the most popular Amazon site of all the other ones. And you can actually use the data from from the .com website, in other words, the data this retrieves from Amazon.com and kind of associate it with the other Amazon sites as well. But let's just continue here and let's uh, show you an example. So the, all you got to basically do is enter your search seed keyword in here. For example, if you wanted to put 3D TV or something like that, or maybe just put 3D to get anything to do with like 3D. Could be 3D goggles, could be 3D not goggles, glasses, 3D TV, and so on and so forth. Something like that, or even like 3D games, right? So that could be a seed keyword. Now let me explain where the software gets this information from. So if we bring up um, Amazon.com here, let's just head over to Amazon.com. And if you go to their search engine here, and start typing in a keyword like 3D, you'll notice all of these keywords coming down here. These are the suggested searches or search suggestions given by uh, Amazon. In other words, when you're typing in here, the next uh, most popular keyword that people type in after 3D is 3DS and then 3DS in video games and 3DS games, so on and so forth. Now what the software does, when you put it to the keyword volume to low, this is what how it actually extracts the keywords. What it's doing, it's taking your seed keyword and then putting a space and appending the alphabet one at a time. So if you put the letter A, you'll see you get all these keywords here. And then if you uh, put a letter B, you get a new set, and then C, a new set, so on and so forth. And software also appends the numbers as well. So zero, and then one. Sometimes they may not bring up anything. That's where the that's how they're extracted using the low number of keywords. So if we go ahead and start the search, and you'll quickly see just how fast it will actually extract the keywords. It's quite incredible. We got 278 keywords just like that. So we got all the keywords there from appending the alphabet. Now, click the clear button here to clear out the keywords. And if you want to do the medium, now what this does, it simply goes through the alphabet twice. So let me explain it. So this is the seed keyword, say it was 3D. It, the software put a, a space and the letter A and then the letter A and get the keywords. See, there's no keywords for that combination. Then it'd go B, then C, and then D and so on and so forth all the way to Z. Then when it's done there, it goes on to B and it starts at A again and then B, C. And this goes through the alphabet twice, appending two letters to it, getting all the different possibilities. And that's what the medium is. And this does take a while, so it's not like, uh, you know, it has to go through. You can see down here what it's searching, which one it's at. And you notice that sometimes nothing comes up. That's just because, well, there was nothing available on the drop down suggestion. Like, uh, like if we look here, if we go AA, nothing shows up. That just means there's nothing that exists that people have ever searched with that in there. So you see it found 40. And also, this is designed to only give you the unique keyword. So if if it finds more keywords going through here, it won't actually add it. So all these should be completely 100% unique, which is important. You don't want a whole bunch of duplicates in there. And you can see it's not too bad. It's already at 27%, but looks like it's getting some more here. But usually the low number of keywords or the low volume will give you like two, 300, sometimes 500 keywords. It depends on the actual keyword and all depends on what people actually search in Amazon. So don't be alarmed if you use this tool and actually not getting any keywords for something. If you have a really long seed keyword here, it may not get anything, right? It's not um, it's not indicating that the software is broken or anything like that. If you don't get any keywords, that just means there's none that exists on Amazon. You see here we're already at 500. So I'm just going to go ahead and abort this here. And uh, the final uh, one here, the high volume. Now this will take a long time. In fact, if you just don't put anything in here, just keep it blank. It will work. Just hit click start like that. And what it's doing is just actually just a, doing the actual high volume uh, algorithm. I'll explain how it works here. But believe it or not, if you just leave it run, to running like this with nothing in it, just click search on the high volume, 
Um, the last time I did this, it took a long time. Okay, I'm, I'm talking like like a half hour or something like that. And it all depends on your internet connection. I have a, a high speed internet connection, and um, after you know a long time, I didn't actually time it, so I'm not exactly sure. I'm just gonna guess it was like around a half hour or something like that. Could be longer. But at the end, it actually extracted over 50,000 keywords. It's pretty incredible. I probably pretty much downloaded the entire keyword database that people use on there. It's kind of funny. But anyhow, just a word of warning. If you use the high volume, prepared to wait a long time. So let's just abort that there. And let me explain how that works. So let's go back to the 3D example here. So we've got 3D and explain how this works. And this is uh, quite crazy here. So. Um, Let's go back here, but 3D, that's how it works. So you'll see all these keywords down here. But what it's doing, it takes these sets of keywords. So if we take that set, you'll see the first one is 3DS. And what it does, it takes each of these and it appends it to that. So the next keyword it will try will be 3D and then 3DS. Right? And then uh, the next one would be <clears throat> would be 3D. I'd be 3D, so I'd be 3D space, 3DS and video games. That would be the next one. So it's taking this keyword and appending it to that one, and then checking to see if there's any more suggestions. And so that's a uh, very, comp like it's very um, computational. It takes a long time for the software to do that because you're taking a set of keywords and then re-entering it again. It's like, like double the search. So that's why it takes so long on the high volume. But I'm telling you, you're going to get every single possibility you can think of by entering in your seed keyword. So if you put iPad in there or something like that, you're going to get every single possible combination of how people enter iPad into the search engine into Amazon. I'm kind of curious to stick iPad in there here. Start going. And so they, yeah, you're going to get a ridiculous amount of keywords, but that's just uh, if you want to use that feature and uh, get every single possibility. And then when you get this information, you can use it to basically uh, kind of, you know, check Google to see which one of these actual keywords is getting the most search volume. That's kind of the, the idea of using the software, uncovering extra keywords and extra um, kind of different, um, basically different keywords that you can use to market in your, uh, m you know, marketing products on Amazon. So all you'd have to do here is if you just, um, let's just abort here. And uh, what I could do is I could just click this copy button here. And what that does, it selects all the keywords and copies it to my clipboard. So if I actually bring up a text file and just go right click and paste, all those keywords there are in that file. But here's the idea. So you click copy, then come over here and click this button. And what that will do, so I click it, it brings you to the free Google keyword tool. And what we can do here we have to stick in the captcha image. Now if you have a Google AdWords account, it's a good idea to log in because you get it unlocks the ability to search I think up to 2000 keywords. In here they only allow you the first 100. So we actually copied 486 keywords. They won't even give you the results. So I'm just going to go ahead and log in to my account here. So I'm just going to sign in. I'm just going to sign in with um, a different account here. All right, so I just signed in here. <clears throat> I'm just going to go in and go right click. And I'm going to paste all those keywords. Where is the paste? Uh, just got to copy it again here. Copy. And I'll just come over here and right click and paste. For some reason, it's not copying it there. This is very strange. I'm using the Internet Explorer here. It's not even loud. There's no box here to even enter in any keywords. That is so strange. All right, I'm going to just pause here and use a different web browser. All right, so I just logged in using the Google Chrome browser. I figured I'd use their own browser. That's got to work. And you can see here now I can actually enter in keywords. That was kind of strange. Now, let's right click and it's going to go ahead and paste all those keywords. And I'm just going to select um, locations here for uh, United States and go ahead and click. I want to do the exact match over here and let's go ahead and search and we scroll down here and what we can find out here is which one of these keywords is getting the most traffic we could sort by the local monthly searches 
and we can see I <clears throat> excuse me there um, iPad 2 case it's getting a massive search volume here you know iPad 2 accessories iPad 2 cover iPad 2 versus I iPad 1 versus iPad 2 you see it just gives you basically a, a, you know gives you the ability to look at more keywords and the cool thing is you know these keywords are the keywords coming from Amazon now what that means is that it's people going to Amazon and actually using their search engine so you know that these people are actually searching this stuff on Amazon so if you're looking on Google I know Google's different than Amazon obviously it's a different search engine but if you can kind of match them up you already know these people are searching this on Amazon so if they're searching on Google you already know they're searching on Amazon so when they get to Amazon they're already conditioned before they even get there to understand how Amazon even works and they've already kind of searched there so that's that's the cool thing and uh, you can harness that uh, basically by uncovering so much more keywords and I'm telling you this keyword generator is um, is killer like you'll get so many keywords that you would never even get from Google so this is definitely a, a way to really um, you know get ahead of the other competition the other affiliates out there trying to rank for a lot of these keywords you're gonna find some real golden gems in here and um, let me talk about some other features here the only other feature really that I've integrated so far is you can just save this as text or CSV which is a comma delimited file you can open up in a spreadsheet program like Google, like um, the Excel Microsoft Excel or the um, the one from uh, the open office the free one there I think it's open office uh, calc I think it's called C A L C calc anyhow we can go ahead and save this to a text file if you want or you can save it to um, a common limited file but that's basically it. it's not really much else to uh, explain here it's just a really good tool for gathering keywords that uh, people actually search in Amazon thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video